Do you own a car? Do you own a car? No. <laughs> I have chosen to invest instead of buying a car to start with. Yes. If you are approved yeah. and appointed yes. and you get into the office and tomorrow a major contractor in the water sector <laughs> comes and offers you a car, yeah. will you take it? No. Mr. Speaker. Yes. His MP on John Paul, when he entered parliament, he as well did not have a car. But President Uhuru bought him a car and he yes, accepted but it. Yes, but you see, uh, if he is appointed as a CS, if he is appointed as a CS, he will definitely be uh, getting mortgage, I mean... Uh, or the, uh, the wood. The speaker. There is no member of this committee who has had you to defend a nominee. We're just asking him questions. Uh, they are not meant to trick him in any situation. Mr. Speaker, yes. now that the nominee has said he doesn't have a car, and he has never owned one, I wanted to know what is, what is his dream car? Which one are you looking <laughs> What's your Which one are you dreaming that one day? Which one? Uh, uh, Eric, uh, 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 don't answer that. Honorable Speaker, I yes. will need your protection in future. Yes, don't answer that. <laughs> Did he, did, he answer, did he answer your question? Yes, on, if no, he, he was didn't. was offered a car by a contractor in the water sector. He, he said no. Okay. You are going into a ministry like many others. You know the service ministries, water, roads, and uh, agriculture, and all this, health, they are infiltrated by mega, mega cartels, literally mafia. And you must, as a young person, resist their approaches to you and fight them out of the ministry so that you run a clean ministry to help Kenyans. Thank you. Eric, we are uh, done with you. We have